Hey guys, I hope you're having such a nice week. I got the Dyson Air app over Christmas. I finally caved and honestly I'm obsessed with it. I've had my little curls clipped up while I've been going about my day today and I'm finally unclipping them before I go out and so far I'm loving it. I, uh, it took me a minute to crack the Dyson Arab. I think other people say the same thing, like it takes a minute to like get it, but I think I'm getting there with it. Anyway, it's finally February, thank goodness. January lasted the equivalent of a whole year to me. Oh, I need to find another clip. And I'm just so pleased that it's over. I don't know about you, but work has just been absolutely crazy over the last few weeks. I had that first week back where it was slightly more chill when everybody's kind of getting back into the swing of things. And then honestly, it's just been absolute mayhem. So. I feel like I've been working flat out and when the weather's also miserable, it just, it makes everything feel tough. So I don't care that it's only February. I'm gonna spend this whole weekend starting to get a little bit in the spring spirit. So I'm gonna start doing a proper clean. This place gets so dusty. It gets so dusty in London so quickly. I need to get my nails done, which I'm gonna leave to do any second now. I feel like, okay, there's none left there. One. Honestly, look at the state. I mean, I don't know if you can see how grown out these are, but I think we're going on like four or five weeks at this point. It's absolutely horrendous. Because I get them quite a neutral color, you can't tell as aggressively, but they are terrible. If the girl is in that does the really cute nail art, I might get some like cute flowers or something. So I thought we could spend the weekend hanging out together, getting in the mood for spring, dusting away all those miserable cobwebs. I also am so excited because I'm finally ticking off one of my 2022 goals, which is finally baking my own bread. It's such like a romanticizing life notion to me, but I just, I love the concept of no longer buying bread and each weekend baking myself a loaf of bread that I then eat throughout the week. So I've had my starter, I've grown my starter finally, and it's looking pretty bubbly and like it's ready to be turned into a loaf. So I'm either gonna do that today or tomorrow, but I'm gonna vlog the whole weekend and we can just start feeling a little bit more sunshiny, a little bit more positive. So I'm entering my spring era of doing my hair, baking my bread and living in a clean, refreshed space. So that's what we're gonna do this weekend. And honestly, just hanging out because really I feel like the last few weeks we haven't really had a chance to probably hang out. So we're just gonna have a super chilled, lovely weekend prepping for spring and loving the little things in life, which you know is what I'm all about. Okay, right, let's go get our nails done because I do actually have an appointment booked. I can't find my phone. And I'm pretty sure that it is in about five minutes. So I need to sprint up the road. Let's stick on a jumper and hit the road. Let's go. We love them. They're so cute. What do you think guys? Wait, let me stop so you can see them properly. I think they're kind of cute. I basically just got a heart on a couple of nails. So on this hand, I just got them on those two. And then on the other hand, I got them on a different two, but I think they're really cute. I'm happy with them. Oh, right guys, I'm back from getting my nails done. But one, of course it was blowing an absolute gale out there. So my lovely fluffy hair that I had literally a few hours ago before I left, it's now completely dyed. If I give it a brush, sometimes it comes back to life. I know that's a bit contradictory to what normally happens when you brush curled hair, but with the air up, I find if I brush it, it all kind of like poofs again. So I need to do that. But honestly, I'm absolutely freezing cold, but the weather is really trying to cramp my whole, let's get ready for spring vibe. But we're gonna make some tea. And then we're gonna bake some bread because we're doing it anyway. We're doing spring anyway. But first of all though, let's see if we can rescue this hair because <laughs> that's extremely depressing that it's just all gone completely flat having been outside. Well, like I said, the weather was crap. Right, okay, let's make some tea. Just made a cup of my new favorite tea obsession. Don't react amazing to caffeine. It usually makes me feel anxious and I just want as little anxiety in my life as possible. So I try and limit how much I have in the day and because it's already, yeah, like 20 to five, I have made myself a little caffeine free tea and this one I absolutely love. And how cute is my mug? Oh my gosh, stop. I've just realized my little mug has its little heart as well. They match. <laughs> So cute, I'm clearly in the Valentine's Day spirit. And honestly guys, as somebody who is so obsessed with self-love, 
and looking after ourselves and pouring a little bit of extra love into ourselves every single day. I am super psyched for Valentine's Day. I really think that it is the perfect day to evaluate how much you love yourself and how often you do little things for yourself that make you feel good. So whether you've got plans for Valentine's Day with a partner or not, if you've got plans on the day with somebody else, then pick another day, choose a choose the 13th or the 15th or the weekend before the weekend after and have your own Valentine's Day. We know ourselves better than anyone else could ever really know us, right? Like we spend the most time with ourselves. So we know the best ways to show ourselves love. So dedicate some time in February to really pour extra TLC into yourself, especially if your January has been as hectic as mine. I just feel like work has been super intense. Basically, this is a very long winded way of me saying that this February, I'm gonna be showing myself extra love in lots of little ways. Even if it's just things like making myself a cup of tea and prioritizing time to hang out with you guys because with work being so mental lately and having to work later in the evenings and even sometimes on weekends, I was like, well, I could just not film YouTube. I could just not, and you know, there's always excuses, but actually no, do the things you enjoy, do the things you love, so. For me, that means making a cup of tea, hanging out with you guys. Also, I am really jumping the gun, but look what I got. <gasps> Already done my first mini egg top of the season. If you were around last year, you'll know that I love having little treats in this pot that just sits in front of the TV. So when I sit down, I can just like have a couple whenever I feel like I need a treat and which is almost all the time, to be honest. Right, I'm gonna stop talking to you now. I'm gonna enjoy my, a couple of mini eggs and then start baking some banana bread. Let's do it. Good morning, guys. So absolutely zero baking happened last night. My mum called me a minute up on the phone for like an hour and a half. And then Cameron came round and we went to the pub and ended up having a few drinks and some dinner and the whole evening completely got away from me. So it is now Saturday morning. Cam's brought me a cup of tea in bed, which is very nice. I am literally watching some YouTube, having a cup of tea and I am now going to get up and then I'm genuinely going to bake. I've now been told that I think I have to feed it the day before I bake with it. So I need to look up the recipe. Honestly, it's the most complicated thing in the whole world, the sourdough thing, but I'm determined to crack it. So I might have to feed that now and then bake it tomorrow morning, which to be fair is quite a nice thing to bake on a Sunday morning. But I also got yesterday some eggs, some bacon, or like not real bacon, but some eggs, some bacon and some like little English muffins. So I think I'm going to make like little at home, like McDonald's breakfast muffins for us this morning. But we have such a nice day today. I mean, honestly, I have to get a lot of editing done. I can't really do a lot of it during the week because of my job. So I do all my editing on the weekends. So I'm gonna do some of that today. And then this evening, I'm so excited. Tonight, we're going to see Phantom of the Opera. Now, I absolutely love the theatre. I also love a musical and I've never been to see Phantom of the Opera. Cam got the tickets for me for Christmas and I'm very excited, very, very excited. Right, let's get up. I've got my tea. It's getting very cold now, so to be honest, I'm gonna go make myself another one. I get ready for a very nice weekend. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna do it. Okay. That's good. That is good for me too. This is too runny for sure. For sure. For sure, it's too dense. It's not uh, <laughs> yeah, that was straight as well. <laughs> right, okay. So now I need to wait, do I need to discard half? So she said it was supposed to be marshmallowy like s'mores. Yes, yes. Okay, do you think I should now wash this? Um. Okay, we're starting again. We've got all the starter in here. And we're gonna go again. I'm gonna pour some kind of quantity into here whilst also discarding some. In you go. You're such a chef. Look. Oh. Oh. I have tomato sauce in your sauce of choice for this morning. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. That is breakfast. And 
now we've also decided to fry some hash browns. Just one each. Mm -mm -mm. And guys, when I was talking about being ready for spring, this is what I mean. Oh, that's so nice. Honestly, the rose in this flower, in these flowers are so nice, babe. I love them so much. Oh, they're so pretty. Spring is arriving, even if it's not. Oh no, really? Snowing! Snowing. Snowing. <laughs> Probably eleven days. Last call front. This whole vlog is me being like, it's spring, it's spring. I'm ready, I'm done with winter. And now the snow's gonna come. <laughs> Stop. Right, we are getting ready to go to the theater this evening. We've got champagne and we've just ordered some food. But the thing that I really want to do is the starter has risen. I actually, I actually can't believe how much it's risen. It's risen. In a day. So we did it at what, like 11, half past 10, 11 o'clock. And it's now five o'clock. And this was the little line that I drew to mark it to see if it's doubled in size. So now I feel like before we go out, I want to do, I need to do something with it. I'm going to open it again, but not. Oh, it's that release of air. Have a look. I think what we do now is we basically scoop out a bit of this. I think the recipe I saw what you said, yeah, eventually, but not until we've made our dough. Sourdough starter is born. A beginner sourdough recipe. Yeah, we're definitely. So do you, do you stick it then on? I thought you'd now start adding a bunch of flour. Yeah. So I think I basically to... take out 150 grams of that, add flour, add water make it into a thing and then stick it in a bowl. Combine the following ingredients in a large bowl. I use a fork. 250 grams of water, 150 grams of bubbly sourdough starter, tip. Add 500 grams of bread flour. Who's got bread flour, babe? Any chance you brought 500 grams? <laughs> Not with me, no. I don't know if I have bread flour. Oh no. Best intentions. Okay, so Cam has very kindly gone to the shops to get us some bread flour, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get going with this bit that needs to go for 30 minutes first, because I think we have to leave for the theater in like an hour, so hopefully we've got time. So, first things first, 150 grams of my starter, 25 grams of olive oil, and 250 grams of water. 150 grams, Oh, it is like marshmallow. Okay, fine, now I know what it was supposed to be like before, because this is definitely different. This is very strange. Okay, right, now we just wait for Cam to get back. Oh, what a babe for going to get it. I will sit here, yeah. sip my champagne. So for dinner, we've got some leftover pizza that we're warming up. We've ordered some pasta evangelists, which is on its way. And we're gonna share a bit of leftover pizza and some pasta and drink our champagne and bake our bread. This is what Saturday nights are made of, guys. 10 out of 10. He's returned with the goods, right. <laughs> Perfect. Spot on. Dough will feel dry, rough, and shaggy. It feels like something you do when you're little. Like I haven't just like played with food like this. It's a very tactile hobby, I guess. Okay, we've done our 30 minutes of autolays, and we're now gonna stick it in my little proving bowl that I got from Amazon, which I think is fine to use. You're not convinced, are you? I'm gonna check you. Yeah, we're gonna put it in here, cover it up, and then we need to leave the theater very soon. So, I'm gonna do this, leave it overnight for 12 hours, and then tomorrow, we can bake. Sleep tight, little guy. See you in the morning.
Oh, wasn't it so good? It was very good. It was so good. <laughs> and now we're gonna go get a drink before we head home, so we're on the hunt. Here we go. We're heading for our beer one. There it is in the distance. This is it, a busy Saturday night in London. This is what it looks like. Oh yeah, good job. Then I think it hit by a Honestly though, that was incredible, like blew my mind in Oh, it was so good. I literally would recommend anyone that likes a musical, that's the best one. You gotta go, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Good morning guys, so. The cleaning did not end up happening on Sunday. I knew spring was sending joy our way and I will happily swap being productive with the opportunity to hang out with my favorite person in the world any day of the week. Everyone meet Bali. Without a doubt, the hardest part of moving out of my parents' house was leaving him. So today, when I was asked if I could look after him, it was an absolute yes. After our walk, he had to go straight in the bath. He was having far too much fun today, as you can see, playing in all the muddy puddles. After bath time, we cuddled all afternoon and it was just absolutely perfect. I cannot wait for more spring summer days running around in the park with him. We're now gonna watch Working Mums and make soup to go with our bread for our Sunday night dinner. So I've started cooking this one a bit already, but I've actually got another loaf in the oven, which is looking pretty good. Oh, sorry, steamed up the lens. I actually think this loaf is looking even better um, than the other one, which is good. But then our stuff for our soup's gonna go in. Might add a bit of mascarpone to it. And our bread. And working mums. And a glass of wine. We love Sundays. Guys, not gonna lie, it kind of worked. I mean, ish. But largely, it looks like bread. And we've already eaten half the loaf before it even took a picture or filmed anything. It's a bit dense and the middle kind of like has this weird hole in, which isn't ideal, but for a first go, we're pretty happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I mean. For a first go. If we actually, 10 out of 10 for a first go, yeah. Not 10 out of 10 overall, but yeah. I love it, yay. If you liked this video and haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you join the team. We have so much fun here. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps me so much. Have the best week, guys. I can't wait to see you in the next one.